Good morning. It is 5.30 in the morning and we're getting in line for the ferry to go back to Skagway from Juneau. This is the first time the van's gonna be on mainland in two and a half months. We're Matan, Mike, and Karma. We sold everything and left our rental home in Maine and moved into our van in May of 2023. We roamed around the U.S. and Canada for a few months, and after spending three months in Southeast Alaska, we decided as skiers, wintering here wouldn't be best for us. So here we are, driving Alaska to Maine in eight days on the Trans-Canadian Highway. That's the ship over there that we're getting on for the next seven hours. I just checked in. The purser comes to your vehicle. You hand them your license and tickets. She said that our van had to be remeasured, so... She remeasured our van and now we have to go into the ferry terminal and figure out the difference. I told the guy yesterday it was 18 feet long. They put down it's 14 feet. So let's hope they have space still for us. Just had to pay $4 because I was measured as 14 feet and not 18 feet. <laughs> Even though we told them 18 feet. We're putting the van on the ferry. The old Lacante. All right, they're having us back in on the ferry. So we just put our van on the ferry. We were um, directed by a lady in a one-piece leotard and pink hair. It's Halloween. <laughs> um, so that was pretty entertaining to see at five in the morning. Now we're in the dining area, just kind of hanging out and uh, waiting for the Wakanti to take off to Fanes and Skag. We made it to Skagway. Back to mainland. All right, we made it to Skagway. Skagwizzle. We're gonna, <laughs> Mike just shipped his guns from the hardware store. They're getting shipped to Maine, all legal and everything. We are trying to find a camp spot for the night. Everything's closed here because it's now in like the winter months. Okay, so. we'll go out to the flats, find yeah. something good. Find some Starlink. It'll be make fine. Make noodles and hot dogs yep. and then go to bed. Mm -hmm. And then go to Canada tomorrow. Check out this sweet view though. It is pretty here. It is very pretty. Here's the town. This is the airstrip. And that's it. The crazy mountains. Good morning, Karma. Good morning from the back of the van. I'm tired, but that doesn't matter. Today we're going to Canada. Just come out. Not the bad hot dogs. <laughs> We have officially left the town of Skagway. We are heading up the White Pass towards the border crossing into Canada. Yeah, White Pass is like zero feet above sea level to like four or five thousand feet in like twelve miles or something. Just steep. Really steep. Oh, the mirror fell off. <laughs> Good thing I saw that when I did. I just looked over and it was like just hanging on by this one piece of double-sided tape. So this is the U.S. crossing right here. We have like, I think like 10 more miles before we get to the actual Canadian crossing, which is really strange. And now this is the road. Look at all the snow, you guys. It's crazy. Within like 10 minutes, we have a ton of snow. We had to pull over to look at this view. Look at this. Where's that truck? Let's see if we can beat it. And look at all the snow. We're gonna have to put our boots on. <laughs> we have to beat that truck. <laughs> we got him. So we could only pull over for like a minute, <laughs> but we caught him. That's the highest elevation, 3292. Oh, there's the Alaska, Alaska border. Side. Here we go. Bye, Alaska. I think this rock right here, that's the official crossing. Yeah. All right. Goodbye, Alaska. Hello, Canada. British Columbia. Yeah, customs 12 kilometers. Nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuel trucks are scary. Okay, we're almost at the border. Oh, look at that. Whoa, what is that? It's a camper. Wow. That was cool. Okay, we're approaching the border crossing. I don't know why I get so nervous about this because we've done it twice. <laughs> but we got Karma's papers, and this time I'm recording with my camera. So hopefully they don't make a big deal out of it. Didn't last time. It was actually 
pretty interested. I think he even checked out the YouTube. I hope so. If he's on here, hi. All right, now we wait. It's taking so long. I have to go pee. Skagway is 27.7 miles. I almost got the nervous poops going on. Yet. <laughs> I hope they don't make us get out. I have my Crocs on. It was 18 degrees in Juneau last week. We had no heat in the van. And it was a little chilly. Shout out Bob Holmes. <laughs> Hooking it up with Juno the fuel septic line. services. <laughs> Check him out. Forgot the hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm nervous. We're going. Hello. Hey, Good morning. How are we doing? Good. How are you? Uh. Oh. Hang on a second. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the back windows don't go down. Okay. Uh, yeah. The license plate is on there. Someplace. I just don't. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Hang on. That open. I can open the sliding door on this side if that's easier. Those just. Okay. Oh. Here. It just—it doesn't roll down. It just cut the bottom pops out. There. There we go. It's our dog. What do you have? You know, the whole purpose of doing this is that I want to see inside. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a camper van. Yeah, so okay. this is a mattress. All right. Do you have a rabies before you go? Uh, we have the rabies vaccination. Yeah. What, oh, what was that? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. A paper? That was, you just gave it to her. Yeah, I believe it's that paper. What's that? I believe it's that paper. The one that we gave you. Oh, okay. Uh, Maine. We're heading back there now. Okay. We're actually in Juneau. We we're working for my brother for three months. Him and his business partner were having a baby and yeah. we're just down there visiting for three months. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so you stay in some time? Yes. Yep. Okay. And are uh, you leaving or? Yeah, we're, for, headed, yeah. we're headed back to Maine for Thanksgiving and hunting camp and stuff. And then we're, no. Um, no. Maybe in the spring. Yeah, maybe in, maybe in like time. April, May. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just travel. Okay. Yep. yep. No. No. Okay. Um, um. Hopefully as maybe, soon as possible. Like yeah. Five days maybe. Yeah. yeah. Bo uh, the border. The Chief Mountain one in Montana. Montana. Oh uh, yeah, the Chief Mountain near. Well, I don't think it's open now. The yeah, one near Glacier one. National Park in Waterton. Uh, we don't have anything. No, we have dog. bear spray. Yeah. Bear spray. Just this. No. Nope. Just dairy. Dog food. Yeah. Any cash? How much cash do you have? Uh, like maybe five dollars. Yeah, we don't have much. <laughs> nope. No. 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 What do you have? The oh, it's like oh, the those container. are just coats full of clothes. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Clothes they're like camping stuff. chairs and so, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was maybe August twelfth ish. Oh, oh, this time around yesterday. Yeah. We took we took oh, the ferry yeah. yesterday. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. you too. Okay, that was much more scary. Yeah, she was very questioning me. Whoa, um, you just want to pull in here. I need yeah. to like shut that window. Yeah, she was like, roll the window down. And I was like, it, it doesn't roll down. <laughs> A little stressful, it was. but it was pretty quick. Are you able to go back there and yeah. open that? Why do they make you feel like a criminal? I don't know. I don't even know what today's date is. And she was asking all those dates. Oh. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I'm a little sad we had to throw away our hot dogs. <laughs> uh, it's like she had never seen a 1999 Astro pin before. Now we're off. Yeah, again. <laughs> we just got into Car Cross. We've been driving for a while, like 45 minutes. I need to find a bathroom so bad though. We have everything. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a little scary though. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, it's really scary in there. No, it's no. We're trying to find some coffee and everything is boarded up. 
Things up here just don't exist in the winter time. The post office is open. Got any coffee post office? <laughs> yep, this is Car Cross. This is a sleepy little town. We got gas and it was $1.99 a liter. We got 30 liters. We spent $60 Canadian, which equals out to $43.20 US currency. So not bad. And Mike got two energy drinks because we're really tired. Super. Super tired. We think it was around ten dollars Canadian for that, so it's what like seven fifty for two yeah. U.S. currency. But we're currently driving to Tagish from Car Cross. It's thirty-five degrees. It was raining, but yeah, it still kind of is. But the roads are, you know, a little snow covered now. Ah. We are almost back to our old friend, the Alcan. Woohoo! Karma, how does that make you feel? Nice talk. Here it is. We're back. The Alaska Highway. We are going towards Teslin. Nobody's coming. Of course no one's coming. Sweet. Watson Lakes, 361 kilometers. There's a handwritten sign on that that said, Freedom. Freedom! <laughs> we just saw a travel advisory thing and it said to call the number 511. So I'm gonna call. We just stopped to give Karma some water so she can stretch her little legs. It's a lot of snow. Well, compared to Southeast Alaska right now. <laughs> Ready? Oh, you took it from my hand. Ready? So we've driven for almost six months now and 15,000 miles and we've almost used a thousand gallons of gas today. 2023. 14 more miles. Hit 16,000 and a thousand gallons. Wow. Let's see if we can catch it. Yeah, we did one. it. A thousand gallons since May, and we just hit 16,000 miles since we left. Heck yeah. We are in Watson Lake. We're getting gas for the third time today. Just got gas in Watson Lake. It's a little sunny. $1.89 a liter, so we got $89.59 in gas in Canadian. I just have to do the conversion for US. We are trying to make it to the hot spring, which is like a couple hours longer. This is the place where the sign forest is, and when we came through, we put a sign up. We waved to that on the way by. Hopefully it's still there. Yeah. There they are. We found the bison. They're just chilling. That one has a collar on. Yeah. We have an hour and 45 minutes until the hot spring. So excited. We have made it back in British Columbia, but we had to turn around and take a picture of the sign. Welcome to the Yukon. We found them. This one's pissing. Oh, man. What's up, ladies? You're peeing. Bye bye. He's back here. Living my best life, eating cookies in bed, being chauffeured around. So spooky, we're entering the fog. Wow. Alright, we just pulled into the hot springs campground. It's 
first come first serve. Well, there's 50 sites, but there's two cars in front of us. I hope we get a site. There's a self-registration thing here. And it's 16 bucks a night to stay here. And it includes the use of the hot springs today and tomorrow. All right, we found a site. And I think it's open enough that we can use our Starlink for internet tonight. You can't see a thing. Sorry, just trying to show them the, the campsite in the dark. Just filled our info out on the paper. Putting our sixteen dollars in, fifteen in cash, and four quarters. Fed our freeloading dog. She's out there eating. She got a little upset. She thought that we forgot about her. She did. It's kind of fun. Now we are boiling some water in the kettle. Mike got the Starlink all set up. We're gonna eat some ramen. We bought all of these for the trip. They're the best. They are really good. All right. This is our electric tea kettle that we've been using for the past almost six months now. It boils water in three minutes. Not even kidding. It is, I think, 700 or 800 watts though, and I read it wrong when I ordered it because I thought it said it was 200 watts. So we're getting ready to go down to the hot spring, and dogs aren't allowed, so this is our diesel heater remote. So we're going to make sure Karma's going to be warm and just turned it on. We're at 459 meters for elevation and you can watch the internal temp go up. I set it at 19 degrees, but it's a little hot for karma, so I'll just do 17 degrees Celsius. She's already underneath here, so <laughs> she'll be fine. Nice and cozy. <laughs> Nobody wants to see this. <laughs> Hello from our bed. We're back in bed. Different day, Eating another cookies. ending. We are eating cookies. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, like, share, whatever the people do, you know, or don't. Help us keep being dirt bags. Yep. Stay tuned though, because the next video is us starting our journey driving to Alaska. Right. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned for more Alaska things. Well, Canadian things. Canadian Alaskan things. Alaska. Yeah. Al a land. Al a Canada. <laughs> Al. Al can. Al can. <laughs> All right, so we went to the hot springs. Uh, it was lovely. It My was favorite place on the planet. Quite nice after driving almost 500 miles today. Yeah. Would we get to do it again tomorrow? Uh, well, hot spring in the morning, and then drive another what 500 miles. We're going to have to wake up even earlier if you want to do that. Yep, let's do it. So. We're eating cookies in bed. We're eating cookies in bed. We're going to wake up when it gets light out and drive to Dawson Creek tomorrow. And then keep driving till we get mm. back to where we're going. We're not sure what to do. We're trying to decide if we should go to Montana or if we should just drive straight home. Um, the van needs a break done for sure. And it would be cheaper if we just drove home, which that sounds ridiculous, but it's true. Yeah. Then we could also repack and yeah. do some other adjustments that we've been wanting to be doing. Yeah, I think we're just going to flip a coin once we get to, like... The end of the alkane. Uh-huh. So, tomorrow. Yep. I don't know. Good morning. Welcome to day two of driving the Alaska Highway back to Montana or Maine. We're not really sure yet. It's a lot later than we wanted it to be. It's after 8 a.m. <clears throat> Woke up not feeling too great this morning, so I'm skipping the hot spring. I need to hit the road. Putting everything back in its spot. Mike's just turned the heater off. Karma just ate and she's pumped. All right, we're about to leave. This is that electric fence I was talking about last night. It's actually a really nice and quiet campground. Headed onward, hopefully to Dawson Creek. The pullover for the view. Hang on. Everything's still on top of the van. <laughs> we're gonna stop here for some gas. Just a little bit though. Yeah, we're not sure how much it is. We read online that it's pretty expensive. So <laughs> the sign said. Thirty-four. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna go. That was very expensive. Two dollars and thirty-four cents a liter, and there's roughly three and a half liters in a gallon. So that's like what seven bucks a gallon. But we needed it. I don't want to get stranded out here. And it's pretty cold. It's like 20 degrees now. It was 32 when we left the campground this morning. Gas was $83 and four cents. I'm keeping a log in our notebook here. To see how much it costs to get wherever we're going when we decide. Look at this view right now. So pretty. This is Muncho Lake. This is one of my favorite roads right here. Because it follows the lake and it's really, really pretty. to pull over again because look at this view it's beautiful holy shit well there goes our windshield yeah oh, that was scary got a little glass on me holy <laughs> wow yeah. wow holy shit wow wow that was scary Scared. We thought this one was bad. Ugh. Bound to happen. The last time we went by this place, they were closed. They were on the food network for the best cinnamon buns in the world. <gasps> They're closed! No. Yeah. Oh, wow. Man. It must not be that good. Oh, so sad. This crack happened like, I don't know, a half hour ago. This one happened in Utah this summer and we're really bummed about it. This one happened yesterday. And this one just happened right now. What is going on? Cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers, man. <laughs> we give up. Whoa. There she is. Timmy's. The old Tim Hortons. We've only been waiting for two days. Ugh, oh, what a beautiful sight. Yes. I'm so excited. Oh, so excited. Mike's letting Karma out to use the bathroom. And I am drinking an ice cap from Tim Hortons. It's been a long few months without these. Back to the flatlands. Mateo's driving. Driving the boat. Seeing a bunch of deer on the sides of the road. We saw a wild horse earlier. Yep. And a couple of dead moose. You saw that huge deer. Yeah. It was bucks. giant. Yeah. I thought it was an elk at first, but it wasn't. But all the the deer up here are just huge. Even the does. Lots of nothing. Almost to Dawson Creek. Yep. About an hour. Well, I know you can't see it very well, but. We're coming into Dawson Creek, the end of the Alaska Highway. It's been a long day, probably eight hours or maybe even more, maybe nine. We're gonna go to the Walmart here and spend the night and keep trucking tomorrow. We got a very sleepy dog here. Just a little baby. Oh, dead battery. Oh no. I have another Not the dead battery. Hello from me and Karma. Oh, here, Karma. Do you need a little mm. extra support? Oh, she's snoring heavy. <laughs> All right. Hello. We well. Blah, blah, blah. We welcomed. <laughs> we made it to the Walmart in Dawson Creek, mile zero of the Alaska Highway. Which is funny because it took us five days to get from here to Skagway, Alaska, and it just took us two days. A lot of driving. A lot of driving. <laughs> We're gonna make some ramen stir fry, which is our favorite dirt bag meal besides hot dogs. Hi. We're almost boiling, do you hear it? Maybe not. 
This is actually a um, damp red thingy that we got in Alaska, but it's not as humid here, but we're just gonna leave it up anyways. The condensation, you know, all that jazz. Oh, don't mind my foot. That was a little weird. Oh, we gotta get these cups ready. Which one do you want, Korean barbecue? Yeah. And I'm having teriyaki chicken, which teriyaki beef is the elite, but they didn't have any in Juneau, Alaska. When we stocked up for the trip, turned it off. Pour it into these bad boys. One cup. Two cups. We usually put like a knife on, like that. And now we wait like three minutes. We just went into Walmart and used the bathroom and bought some candy bars. We just ate a crunchy bar and we just brushed our teeth. We're gonna go to bed now. The van was doing something funky when we got here. Making a little whining noise. Yeah, it kind of sounds like the power steering, which hopefully it's just low on fluid. Don't need that. <laughs> you can drive the rest of the way. <laughs> Strong arm. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna check in the morning. We're going to bed. It's uh, only 35 degrees Fahrenheit outside. So like what, two degrees Celsius? And it's 72 degrees in here. So it's nice and toasty. But thanks for watching. Day number two. Tomorrow we need to figure out if we're going to Montana as planned or if we're gonna go straight to Maine through Canada. Might just go to Maine. I don't know. Stay tuned. <laughs>